When I started working on my architectural projects, one thing I felt tricky was keeping my concept and my technical drawings consistent. The idea would begin with so much creativity, but somewhere between sketching and drafting, the essence would fade. Hi, I'm Krutika, an architectural illustrator and educator. And in today's video, I'll show you a simple workflow inside Rayon Design that bridges that gap between the concept drawings and the technical drawings. We will go from concept to detailed technical drawings, refining the line weight, hatches, dimensions, and exporting everything ready for presentation. By the end of this video, you will see how easy it is to convert your concept diagrams into professional technical drawings just in one workspace. So let's dive in. Let's open Rayon Design app on my desktop. And here you can see the drawing that I have created. This is a kitchen and here's the elevation and the plan that I have made. And these are the sections that I have created. Here you can see the details I have added to my section. Now I have to create the section AA, which is from the left hand side. I will cut through upper cabinet and the fridge. So I will go to the bottom toolbar, select the guideline tool and create horizontal guideline for my floor. Then. I will select my elevation and plan and simply move and place them over the guideline like this. Now I can take the reference of the heights from the elevation which makes it so easy. From the bottom toolbar again I will take the guideline tool and create the guidelines for my height of the cabinets like this. Press enter to continue the same tool. Here you can see I have now the height from floor to top of the cabinet and the fridge. Now. I will add heights of my flooring. Here you can see the flooring materials and other details. I will add the height taking the reference from here like this. It's very simple and very easy. Again, I will take the guideline tool but this time I'll make sure I'm selecting the vertical one. And then from the bottom toolbar, I will select the offset tool like this. Now I will start creating the details. At the bottom, you can see the distance. You can simply enter the distance and press enter and you have the offset. To continue using the offset tool, press enter and then your dimension and press enter again to confirm. So I'm going to add all the offsets to create my wall. Then I will add plyboard layer, all the layers one by one like this. I know the depth of my cabinets will be 76 cm and in total 80 cm. I will include all the details. Two centimeters will be the depth of the board and which I will add as well. So I will simply add all the major elements using the guideline tool. It's very easy and makes your work so much smoother in Rayon design. Using the guideline tool, I will add all the details of my cupboards. The height of dividing part of the cupboard will be 30 centimeter. You can adjust it according to your preference, but I want 30 centimeters like this. Now you can see we have all the guidelines for our section. Next, from the bottom toolbar, I will select the shapes. I will take the rectangular tool using it. I will create all the details. Using the rectangular tool is very simple. One click on the first point and the second for the next. And here we have the rectangle. And I will add the flooring details first like this. Then I will select both the shapes and extend them to the right and left like this. Again, I will take the rectangular tool and create the insulation layer for my wall. Now for creating walls as well, I will use the rectangular tool. Now adding the wooden tiles, I will add another rectangle and press enter to use rectangular tool again. Here we have the flooring. Now again press enter to activate the tool and I will create the wooden board at the back. Then I will create the cabinet, adding all the details one by one like this, simply using the rectangular tool and creating shapes. Now I want to add a handle to open the shutters like in the other details I have added. So I will delete the skyline and go to the offset tool again. This time I will take the offset of 3 cm to create the opening gap so the cabinet shutters can open with the groove. Then I will add a 2 cm board again using the rectangular tool, creating a rectangle to close the cupboard and here we have it. 
it hardly took me five minutes to create this detail. Now the major part of the section is done. Here you can see in the elevation on the sides of the fridge, I have this board for the covering. So I will take the rectangular tool and create the rectangle like this. In front of it, I will have the fridge. Now I can simply delete all the guidelines. I don't need them anymore. Now I will go to the layer panel on the left. You can see that I was working on the photos layer. I will create a new layer, click on the plus icon, name it as section AA and drag. Now everything is in one layer. If you want to hide it, simply hide the section and everything will disappear for section AA. Make sure you have section AA selected before you start working on it. Now I want to add a break line. Go to the library on the left side, then to the title blocks and annotation. There you will find the wall cut edge. Simply drag and drop. It's so easy to add blocks in rayon design. Scale it up and place it where you need it. I will place it neatly on the flooring, then press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy it. Move it to the right hand side, right click, choose transform, flip horizontal and here we have it. Again, I will make a copy of it and place it over the wall, scale it, place it neatly like this. Now I will start adding the other details to my section. Now I will start adding the details of my section. I will take the line tool from the bottom toolbar and create a line inside the insulation layer. Then I will go to the properties panel on the right, select stroke, add dash, battings and scale it to 1.5, perfect. I will change its color from black to gray and here we have it. Next. I will select the second layer of my wall, go to the fill, hatch, dash to oblique, click transform, edit and scale it to 0.3 to match other details. Then change the color from black to gray. I will select the ply board for my cupboard and from the right hand side use the style picker to pick the style from the existing details like this. You can check the stroke size and the color from the edit style if you want to adjust them. Next, for the background board, I will pick a color for it as well. Now, I will add the flooring material, pick style from the other details or choose textures from the fill. For the flooring layers, I will use the hatch fill, set scale to 0.3, change color to gray and done. After that, I will add a gray color base. Under the hatch, I will create a rectangle using the rectangular tool, add a gray fill and remove the stroke. If the hatch disappears, Go to the layers panel, drag the rectangle below the hatch and it will appear again. If the grey color looks too dark, select it and choose a lighter grey from the properties panel or use the color picker to match it. Now I will go to the library, search for a refrigerator and use the second model. You will find the top, front and the side views. I will use the side view for my section drag and drop and place it neatly over the section detail. If you want to change the line weight, just select the object, click edit, choose the outer black line, then adjust the stroke and done. Now it's time to add annotation. I will take the dimension tool from the bottom toolbar, start adding dimension to centimeter for example. From the right hand side properties, you can adjust the text, font, stroke, extensions and arrows. Set the height to 4 cm. You can also select units, precisions or suffix if needed. For arrows option, you can choose from different styles or set it to none. Now I will add the dimension one by one using the dimension tool. Then select all the dimension and pick style from the first one and done. Now that our dimensions are ready, let's add leaders for different elements. Click once, then again and type the label, for example, upper cabinets and click the tick mark. From the right hand side, adjust the height to 4 cm, change the arrow style to circular and set the size to 2 cm. Now everything is ready, our details are done, it's time to export and present it to the client. From pages panel on the left, create a new page, set A4 sheet size, landscape, orientation and scale 1 is to 25. Then add your drawing. Use Ctrl C and Ctrl V to create another page for your elevation and plan. Make sure drawings are centered. 
Now we have our two pages ready. I will rearrange them so my elevation and plan comes first. Go to the menu export and export as PDF, PNG, DWG, DXF or Rayon file. Rayon also lets you share directly. Click on the share icon at the top right. You can add an email address, invite your colleague or client as editor or viewer or create a public link to share. There's also a presentation mode. Toggle it on, click open and here's your presentation with all sheets beautifully displayed. And that's how you can take your concept sketches all the way to a clean and construction ready drawings without losing your design intent. I am Kritika and I love helping designers and architects to simplify their creative process. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials. I will see you in the next one. Till then, happy designing. Bye-bye.